I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV and we're here at AutoSense Brussels 2019 at the Auto World Museum speaking today with Angela Swen. She is the Director of Automotive Product Line Management for Lumentum. And Angela, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you, Carl. I'm really excited to be here. Angela, let's start at the beginning. Tell us a little bit about uh, Lumentum. Give us an overview of the company. Hi, yes, sure. Lumentum is a photonic company. We've been, we've been in the industry for over 20 years. Uh, so we started with the telecommunications, uh, the transmissions, and then we later on moved to the consumer, and now we are very active in automotive. So Angela, let's talk about the automotive portion of your business. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, our automotive uh, portion of the business, we focus more on LiDAR because our background is photonics. We can directly apply our uh, photonic experience into a LiDAR. Um, nowadays, there are several LiDAR topologies. There's flash LiDAR that use a lot of high power just shooting the light out. And there's a MAM scanning LiDAR, which we are actively involved in it. Um, and then there's also mechanical scanning um, and also the FMCW. So we've been spending a lot of time on uh, learning about FMCW and we feel like our technology can directly apply to FMCW technology. So Angela, give us a little more depth. What is that technology and why is it important? So FMCW is more coherent. So you're sending the, the wave of the signal out and you're waiting for the signal to come back. You can detect the velocity of that object instead of just having the 3D mapping of the data. So you can actually see the, how the object is moving. So it gives a lot of data to um, the LiDAR company for that information and it's more accurate. And they also filter a lot more noise than the regular flash uh, time of flight LiDAR. And so coherent LiDAR, do you see a trend going forward for this? Do you see a place in the market for this in five or ten years and, and why? Yes, we do see that. Um, a lot of restriction right now on the coherent LiDAR is more cost. People worry about the cost uh, cannot come down. But as far as what we see is cost comes with volume, right? We see a lot of interest nowadays from OEMs and tier ones and even a lot of startup just doing FMCW, doing the coherent. So there are a lot of interest, a lot of momentum going into this FMCW technology. And we do see the price will come down and it will eventually uh, adopt by multiple players. In general for LiDAR, what are some of the trends you see in the industry right now? In a general, um, for LiDAR perspective, we see there's so many activities going on. Reason being is that people are not only looking at the fully autonomous, a fully level five or level four. People are more looking at the level three now. So we're seeing more enhanced level three uh, uh, autonomous driving or, or semi-autonomous driving vehicles trying to use LiDAR system. So LiDAR has been, um, I mean, I guess gaining a lot more interest just for the semi-autonomous vehicle. And that is coming in a couple of years. It's not talking about 10 years out. So that's why we see so many startups coming in just to, uh, and it also a lot of VCs investing in LiDAR technology. Angela, off camera, we were talking about the importance of driver monitoring systems. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Driver monitoring system is the, to uh, have the monitor detecting the driver's behavior and also driver identity, right? So this is very important th these days for um, the car sharing or car hauling uh, kind of platform, right? So you, you have people or drivers uh, sitting in the vehicle, but you change drivers all the time for different vehicles, right? So for, for the same vehicle. So having a driver identification is very important. So we see a lot of OEMs moving into the car hauling uh, business service because they see that the car sales are going to be platform, uh, uh, like peak up already. So they're moving their business to more service-oriented business. So for a car manufacturer to uh, hire a driver to be the, their employee and they need to identify the driver, right? And there's other applications of the driver drowsiness. So you have truck drivers, right, driving 10 hours a day. So uh, the logistics company want to monitor the driver, make sure that they, they have a safe condition and one driving, right? That helps the insurance company to predict um, the insurance cost to it. So a lot of this type of application is very useful 
uh, for driver monitoring system. For Euro NCAP, um, they're forecasting in the future, in a year or two, in 2022, they will have, all the new cars will have the driver monitoring system built in the system. And even in China, um, they start to mandate the commercial vehicles for truck drivers, uh, commercial vehicle to build in the driver monitoring system. So we see that this is becoming very um, popular uh, and a big need from all over the world. Angela, we can tell you're very passionate about your work. Um, Lumentum, obviously, a very exciting company, a growing company. Do you have any final thoughts to add anything that we may have missed? Uh, any final thoughts as we wrap up here? Sure, sure, sure. Um, we are very excited because we are lucky that we are a photonic company. We can directly apply our knowledge into automotive. And it's this exciting world. Um, you can see the trade show. There are so many people coming, so many people asking questions and learn so much for, through all the conferences, all the talks that all the speakers, uh, experts are talking about. So I'm very excited and I learned a lot from this show too. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next show. Angela, it was a pleasure to sit with you last night at the awards dinner. Uh, we want to, from all of us here at AutoSense TV, we want to wish you the best of luck going forward and safe travels to you going back home. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, guys. Speaking today with Angela from Lumentum. For more AutoSense TV, for more AutoSense Brussels, like, subscribe, and share.